Hi everybody, this is Doris with Rich in Love Fashion and on this week's episode of Dose of Doris, we're going to be talking about how you can level up. So you ready? On a recent interview I did with Inspired Forward, I talked about an analogy about leveling up. In this analogy, it basically talks about you have a building. The building has multiple floors. In the building with the multiple floors, you can only take so many people with you to the next level. And it's about the whole point of the analogy is about in order to grow, you need to constantly be evolving and editing and changing. I think we get caught up thinking that everybody in our lives, every situation, everything is supposed to continuously keep on going with us. Not everything does end up going with us. It's kind of like a spoiler alert. You're going to lose people on your journey. It's just a matter of fact. It's just going to happen. You're going to lose people. You're going to lose situations and things on your journey to growth, to the top, and which I like to think is the penthouse. So the goal is the penthouse, the top floor. So people are brought into your life, situations, you know, things are brought into your life to teach us something. And as soon as we experience that lesson, we need to embrace it, let it go, get into the elevator and go to the next level. Too many times we get so trapped and so trapped in our heads and on that floor where we're unable, we paralyze ourselves and we're unable to get to the next level. So we stay trapped on a floor that basically we've done everything on this floor. There's nothing else to do. And now we're settling. When we know, let's say we're on the fourth floor, we know we can get to the 32nd floor and we could get there fairly quickly if we just basically take care of what we're dealing with on this floor. We can get in the elevator and just keep on going up, 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 up. But instead, we stay trapped. We settle. So how do we get out of that and how do we level up? So for me, number one would be you have to change your mindset, then follow that with action and passion. It's all about the action and passion. I think we need to have more of that. And it's time for us to take a serious, deep look at what we have going on in our lives, where we can improve in our health, career, finance, relationship. Where can we take those you know, things to the next level? You know, Number two is go to the areas that scare you the most. For me, it's letting go. It's always been letting go of people because you know you get so caught up in the time and the memories and so on. But you have to remember that you have to push yourself, no matter how painful and emotional it is, you have to push yourself to know if something or someone is not serving your higher good, you gotta go in the elevator without them, knowing that it's essential for your future and growth. Because nobody wants to be trapped on the fourth floor forever. Number three, I would have to say is don't get stuck in old behavioral patterns. It kind of goes with number two, but don't get stuck in those old behavioral patterns. You know, keep on telling yourself, you know, you have to do it. You got to go with the flow. Stop fighting. Stop resisting. Stop reacting. And instead, start creating the life you desire. Start being the one that manifests your day instead of being the one that lets your day dictate what, what happens to you, then you react to it. You know, don't get trapped on that floor. Say, mm -mm, I'm not gonna be trapped on the fourth floor. I'm going all the way to the top. And no matter what it takes, I'm gonna have the strength and the courage and I'm gonna make it to the top and I will be at the penthouse sooner than I think. And that's the mindset you have to have. I hope today's episode has helped. Additional information can always be found by visiting richandlovefashion.com. And until we meet next time, remember to always stay glamorous.